Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and hey, you can do this. That might sound familiar to you because this is a bug fix of a bunch of plugins. This is a track that I did called Skronk. And it was done in console 8 using entirely VST plugins. And that's the way it went out. That's the way I made a video for it. And there was a bug the entire time. So I'm going to tell you what it is and what happened and what's better now because it is now fixed. The deal is, on the console 8 plugins, all of them, it tried to get some efficiency by defining a filter, the ultrasonic filters that the whole system is based on, out of the reset where we start the initial variables for everything. Thing is, on the VST it wasn't able to get a particular setting called get sample rate in that location. So what would happen is it would go, let's set up the entire filter and what's the sample rate? Uh, zero, nil, nothing. But it would also check and go, is the sample rate less than 48K or 49 or something like that? If so, then we will simply not apply it and that's what happened. So people have reported that the console 8 on VST, the ultrasonic filtering, doesn't seem to be working. That is correct. It is now. And this is what it sounds like. I'm not sure if you remember what the original sounded like, but I am happier with how this is going than the first way that it came out. So here's the deal. I have the downloads for all of the console 8 filters, but wait, there's more. Turns out, same thing was happening in console 8 hype. Not, I believe, in the literal hype plugin, I should, I should check. Um, but console 8 hype also was doing the same thing. So that makes like, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7, 8, 9 nine plugins that needed to be updated. But also you see that on the master track here is monitoring three. Monitoring three is the monitoring that includes Air Windows Dark after the reissue of the old 10.9's noise shaper and is the sort of fancy high resolution thing that I came up with after NJAD and so on. That also had a concern in that it was trying to do the same thing, although it may have also been covering for it with other stuff elsewhere in the code. I have updated it now. The What would have gone wrong is not being able to operate dark quite correctly, but I have now fixed that as well. So monitoring three can be re-downloaded in updated form, but there's also two more plugins that were doing the same thing that I was practicing on, looking to see if there was any obvious problems with it before going full on and including it in everything with console eight. This practice clearly did not work. Um, but the plugins Purest Warm 2 and Shape also tried to instantiate a filter in Reset and this worked on AU, although the issue with AU is that if you changed sample rate with the plugin still open, it wouldn't respond. So I have updated those as well. So now the AUs will follow changes in sample rate after they've been instantiated. And the VSTs now work as intended. The filtering works properly. I have been very busy upon getting back to Vermont. I'm settling into, uh, well, as you can see, I'm settling into winter. You can see that I've got a wood stove going. You're going to be seeing more of that as we go. What you're not able to see is the studio, but you will. I will show. But for now, the studio is being put back together in such a way that I get to do things like 
analog mixing off of the old Motu 16A and that means certain things like I can do tests and determine oh also I have that uh, sampler keyboard back under my roof that's something I can now measure and test out and see what I can get out of so that should be interesting but I've also got the the heritage audio the mixer with its accompanying converter and that means I can do a console H because it might be worth digging into that getting you know patching it up and making sure everything is working properly because it's like a vintage style mixer so it can get wonky at times but um, if I can measure that correctly and replicate it, I can put out a console H that is the sound of this rather fancy mixer, but in plug-in form. And that could be exciting, as well as a console M, which would be the little Mackie 1202 that Mackadee was made out of, could be a console version too. And of course, the cards that I made for the purpose of getting inspired to do music and doing something with that. Well, I've been working on that and trying to do new things with it, such as taking every card and having a time signature associated with it and coming out with a way of making this whole system work. If I succeed, I can make sets of cards and actually sell them and you'll be able to have them. But the way that works is I need to do it um, like music first. I need to be able to create the thing first based on the stuff that I generate with this kind of stuff. And if it gives me good results, that's the time that I turn around and go, okay, now you can have this. With regard to plugins and things that can be distributed digitally, those are free because I'm Patreon supported so please jump on the Patreon if you like the work that I do. This last couple of weeks, the work was entirely bug fixing. And that's always a drag because that gets in the way of putting out new plugins. But it was important. Like I said, uh, I made a video for Skronk using the old recording of it. Then I did not know that it wasn't applying the ultrasonic filtering. And yeah, time to amend that. And if I have further versions of console that come out, they need to be set up to work correctly from the word go. And yeah, you might also notice with this card thing that I'm doing that part of it is, though this is not the way it would look in final results, you'll notice that I have little blurbs written all over that which give you a kind of idea it's it's a bit like the oblique strategy cards where it gives you ideas of things to do for instance going from a arrangement of happy and empty to cruel and angry which is meant to be the sort of flashy proggy stuff that one says engage showing off whereas if you were going from happy angry which is like rocking out to cruel and angry Instead of engage showing off, it says edge sharpening, and you're meant to get kind of edgy. Or if you went from that to kind and calm, we call it chill section. And hopefully that inspires ideas. But in order to do anything with these, I've had to write stuff on lots of little cards. And the whole purpose is to get something where I can test it out, see that it works, put it into action, and if it's actually worth having, then I can start distributing it in some way. So I've been real busy, as you might imagine. But hopefully it is worthwhile, and I do still have the backlog of plugins to come out with. One of the things I've been doing is also getting the, the video and um, filming stuff for the video posting up and running properly because that has gone through changes as well and it's a real struggle to make everything work. The last two videos that I shot were lost completely because the screen capture completely failed to capture the screen. And it just did that to me half an hour ago. So here we are again 
And I'm going to see whether that worked. If it does, you will see the uh, Reaper window showing console 8 bus out, and we'll go from there. Honestly, it should work. It should show you because I'm dialing it back to what worked before. And on that note, yeah, like I've, I've said before a number of times, I'm Patreon supported and that keeps me able to do these new things. And this is how I get in a position of being able to do the new stuff, bring out plugins, bring out ideas, have stuff to interest you with. And on that note, I'll talk to you later. I will get back to work. Bye-bye.